In the last video, we talked about digital signatures. Now, digital signatures are great because they help in identifying whether a particular document was created by a particular individual. But there's still one problem that needs to be solved. That is certifying that a particular public key belongs to a specific entity. This is achieved through public key certification. To understand public key certification, let's look at a particular example. So let's assume that Trudy plays a pre-pizza prank on Bob. So what Trudy does is she creates an email order which says, Dear Pizza Store, please deliver me four pepperoni pizza. Thank you, Bob. She signs this order with her private key. She sends this order over to the pizza store. Trudy also sends to the pizza store her public key, but says that it's Bob's public key. Now what the pizza store does is that it verifies the signature and then delivers four pepperoni pizzas to Bob. Now think about Bob. He doesn't even like pepperoni pizza and now he has to pay for four pizzas. The biggest issue that occurred here was that the pizza store could not verify whether this public key was actually tied to Bob. When Trudy sent the pizza store her public key and said that it was Bob's public key, they just blindly believed her because they had no way of verifying whether the public key that she sent was actually her public key or Bob's public key. This is where the Certification Authority or CA comes in. A Certification Authority is an entity or an organization, it could be the government, which we trust. It's a big organization where collectively individuals place their trust. So what the Certification Authority does is it binds a public key to a particular entity. So particular entity E, say a person or a router, registers its public key with the CA or the Certification Authority. E provides proof of identity to the CA. So the CA looks at the proof of identity and agrees that this is actually E. And then CA creates a certificate binding E to its public key. Now the certificate containing E's public key is digitally signed by the CA. And what the CA is actually saying to the world is, I have verified that this is E's public key and you can obtain E's public key using this certificate. So let's see what happens when Alice wants to get Bob's public key. When Alice wants to get Bob's public key, she goes to the CA and gets Bob's certificate. Now, the CA is a well-trusted organization and its public key is known to everyone or can be readily obtained from the CA's website. So she gets CA's public key and applies it to Bob's certificate. From there, she can get Bob's public key. So she does not have to, to trust Bob to send her his public key. The prank, the, Trudy was able to play the prank on Bob because she sent the pizza store her public key and she said that it was Bob's public key. When you have a certification authority, then you can always get the certificate from the certification authority and apply the certification authorities or CA's public key to obtain the public key of the particular individual. Thank you for listening.